I'll be showing you step by step how to create a robots.txt file in your Shopify store. We'll be using Shopify's pre-built template as well. So there's no need to go install any other apps. So let's dive right into it here. We'll start from our Shopify dashboard. Now from there, we wanna to navigate to the theme section. So I'm gonna to navigate to online store, which is under sales channels, and the theme section should open up by default. From there, I'm gonna to go to the three dots here in the center of the page. Clicking on that, I'm gonna recommend first that you duplicate your current theme. This is gonna create an exact copy. So if you make any errors when creating your robots.txt file, you can easily restore an old version. I'm gonna skip that step here for this video. And I'm going to go down to edit code. This is going to open up the Shopify theme code editor. All these changes I make as well are only going to apply to my current theme. If we go and search for it, we can see that it's not in this store. There's no robots.txt file. So let's go and create one. So to go and create our file, let's go to the left hand side, hover over, add a new template. This will be under our templates section. Clicking on that, I can then select a template type. Opening up this drop down, I can see several options such as a 404 page, blogs, and I want to go down to close to the bottom here where it says robots.txt. Once I've selected my template type, I can hover over done. Clicking on that, we'll go and create my template file. So this is going to create the default template here, allowing Google to see which URLs to crawl and index on our site. To note, there is a caution warning here saying to please go to this URL before making any changes. And basically this page is gonna show you an overview of where to find the file once it's created. And it says that the default robots.txt file works for most stores. But if you wanna make specific edits such as allowing or disallowing certain URLs from being crawled, adding crawl delay rules, adding extra sitemap URLs, or blocking certain crawlers, you can make those changes. But since this will be fine for most stores, is essentially you just wanna get Google to go and index our store, and that's made more efficient using the robots.txt file. We've done what we need to do in this video. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. You have your cost of goods sold, your ad spend across different platforms, your transaction fees, your refunds, and more. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for, and it's going to give you real-time calculations along with a ton of different details, analytics, and charts so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. You can also find it on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So this concludes the video here on how to create a robots.txt file for your Shopify store. We use the default Shopify template, which made things super easy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe below. I have new tutorials coming out on Shopify all the time and you don't want to miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.